In my previous video to this one, I showed you how I could use three secret tools in Camera Raw to make a black and white photo's life and dynamics come back. Now I'll do the same, except we'll be doing it on our color picture. We'll use one that's overexposed and one that's underexposed. Let's do it. All right, in this example, we've got a great picture of this baby on the floor, but it looks a bit hazy and a bit overexposed. So let's first of all go into Camera Raw now. But the first thing I'd like to do is go to your basic. Let's use dehaze. It's a great way to start fixing this pic. So we'll bring up the dehaze and it starts to bring back the colors and removes that hazy kind of look on it. Throw a little bit of clarity in there. Now we'll go up top to your shadows and scroll that a bit up, bit up on the exposure. And it's starting to look better already. Now we'll go in and we'll do a mask, select people, and let's grab everything. Create. All right, the first thing I want to do is I'll scroll to the bottom and I'll do the baby's facial skin. Let's bring out that face just a little bit more. So the first thing I like to do is go down to effects and let's make sure we can't bring any more definition with the dehaze. Bring that slightly up. And let's bring the texture down a bit. Now let's go over to our friend's curves and bring it up there. Now you can start to see the baby's face. A little bit of color. We'll throw in about five saturation before, after, and the baby's starting to take effect here. Now we can mess with the rest of it. Like the clothes need to be a little bit sharper. So what we'll do is we'll go to clothes and we'll do the same thing. We'll go to our friend, the curves. I don't think it needs to be dehazed anymore. And we'll just slightly bring it up. You can see the difference right there. And the picture is starting to look good. Let's go to the iris and the pupil. Same thing. You can check to see if you can dehaze it a little bit more. You can see the difference right there. Dehaze it a bit more. Go to your curves. And let's bring it up. Wow. Look at those eyes. All right. You can mess around with all these different masks to get the perfect picture if you wish. One thing I like to do as a bonus here is let's grab something that people sometimes forget about. Let's create a mask and it's gonna be a luminance range. What I'd like to do is take the light and the light around the bonnet there and her skin. Because if you remember that day might've been a little bit warmer than you think. So let's hit the show luminance map and we'll bring the left slider over until you can see that you're only affecting that side of the baby. There we go. Okay, so click off show luminance map. Now, you remember that day was a little bit sunnier outside, so let's grab some color. Throw a little bit of yellow in there. And right away, that picture starts to take off and looks wonderful. Before, after. This picture is not the same and it's not a throwaway. All right, here's a great pick. Unfortunately, you can't see the trees and the houses very well. It's very underexposed, but we got a great sky and everything here. So first of all, the first thing we're gonna do is make it a smart object and then go into camera raw. Now, once again, we'll go up here to your histogram and you can see you get your blacks, your shadows, your exposure, your highlights and your whites. So what we'll do is we'll go over to your shadows and you can bring them up and all of a sudden the houses and everything start to appear. It looks great. If you want, bring up your highlights or bring them down, add a little definition to the sky. Now, also, let's go to basic and you can go to dehaze or anything that's got a little bit of a haze on it. Let's bring that up a bit. And then it'll bring in a little more definition. Add the touch of clarity in there. And this picture is starting to look great. Before, after. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll make some masks. Let's grab the sky. Now you can see if you press Y, you can see what your mask is. Let's zoom in. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now, let's go to effects, 
hit your Y key. And again, use the dehaze and bring in just a bit of that, bit of clarity. And now it's starting to look really good. If you want, go to your color. Let's throw five or 10 into the saturation. And the yellows and the blues are starting to come out just wonderfully. If you want, go to your temperature and just slightly add a couple of blues in there. Things are looking good. Now, if you want more definition and anything to do with the trees and the houses here, let's make another mask. So what we can do is take the mask that we made of the sky and we'll duplicate and invert it. So now, hit your Y key. We've got everything else. Let's check the mask. Zoom in. Looking pretty good. Now, if you want to make it a little more accurate, go to Subtract and Color Range. And just go around, create little boxes where you think you might need a little more definition in your mask. And what it'll do is it'll straighten out your mask for you and make it even more accurate. Let's check that out down here. Looking good. Now what you can do, hit your Y key. And now let's go to curves. And we're just going to bring it up slightly. And it brings everything up just a bit more, which is really cool. And you can start to see the definition in the houses and even in more into the trees. Now if you want, you can play with the colors a bit. Let's go to your curves. And do a bit of blue. Just to reflect a bit of the sky in the water here. Things are starting to look really good. Before, after. Nope, this picture is definitely not a write-off. There you go, two pictures that you might have thought were a write-off. We brought back the life and dynamics in them. If this video helped you at all, please give me a like and subscribe. Yeah, we'll break any hell. I'm Don from Photo 901. See ya.